All right, it's 2023 coming to a close. In America, it's certain things that's for certain. Death, taxes, and unions will go on strike. Now, this video is not uh, here today for me to say if I'm pro or against unions. My my purpose is just to inform what the what the true realities of it is. Uh, currently, right now, especially in Michigan, Motor City, uh, we got a couple of industries that that went in on strike, or they're just wrapping up the details of signing the contract to end the strike. I mean, of course, everybody know about the big three. You also got Blue Cross Blue Shield in Michigan. You also have casinos up north in the Michigan area. You have uh, healthcare workers up in the Northeast that's uh, on strike. And it's it's probably more going on, but I just want to talk about the nuance of having strikes and what's going on. Uh, before I go on, you know, my usual tenant and things like that, Alex, you got anything you want to talk about involving strikes? Um, not yet, but as we go more into depth, but uh, unions is something that I'm not familiar with too much growing up in Florida, but I know you have more knowledge on on unions coming from Michigan. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm north. Unions, when I was growing up, unions was the thing. I mean, I we was raised, we was raised, especially in Detroit, is go to school. Uh, if you graduate high school, you know, they made it feel like you just won the Heisman Trophy. And then it's go get your union job. Go get your union job. And ever since I was little, I've always been a quant uh, contrarian. That's what I was trying to say. Meaning, I always believed if everybody was doing it, then it wasn't the right thing to do. Because I I don't believe in group think. I mean, what I mean by lot, I don't believe large masses of people know know what they're doing and or they're not smart now is some in the group that is smart yeah but i don't believe in the mass and i think people just follow what you know people before them told them and they never actually think for themselves or question information received as we talk as we talk about but of course you know my parents told me the same thing my mom she worked in a union i remember many and uh many a times and me and her talked about it the other day of going on strike. And then, you know, we tell, you know, my wife about it. My wife just laughed because I'm telling the story. Of course, you know, I got to jazz the story up. Uh, you know, being on picket lines, you know, three years old and eight years old. You went on strike. Well, my, if my mom's on strike, then, <laughs> yeah, I'm on strike. I'm on strike with her. All right? But I mean, of course, my mom didn't have babysitters. So we as kids, we was out there. I still right. remember the chants and everything. I mean, I was, my mind went off the strike three times when I was growing up. Uh, when I was three, when I was around eight. And then I believe again when I was around uh, like 12 or 13. Yeah. So, you know, so just telling the stories about it. But, you know, going through that process. But so understand when these workers go on strike, especially this is, you know, I'm older, so... When these workers go on strike, they don't get paid, you know, or they'll get some some small stipend from the union, but it's a big discount from what they made on, you know, working their job. And all of these are hourly workers, you know, so just FYI, it's hourly workers that's usually in a union. So, of course, all the overtime, they're not getting the pay from all the overtime work they did and everything else and what have you. So, I mean, like in my mom's case in the 80s, she was getting like 150 bucks, you know, or, and that's, that was her paycheck to hold her over until. And then so I always looked at it and, and it didn't make no sense. The reason why it didn't make no sense because the only thing I looked at it is like, dude, just, I know because we were struggling. So I'm thinking somebody else got to be struggling too. This is insane. So I hated the word strikes. But anyway, going back to the whole union, the union thing, like Alex said, uh, in the South, there is no, you know, union. Well, they might have some here and there. So don't, I'm not going to say no, like that's a, a total broad statement. But for majority of the South, unions are not part of our dynamic purview or anything else like that. And there are some 
pros and cons about unions, I believe. Um, but still staying on the same track of me growing up with unions, I always looked at it as the unions always, they helped the people that was bad workers. That's what I looked at it as. And what I mean by that, because when I always ask, I was like, so what's so good about a union? I always, especially when we was on strike. I was like, what's so good about it? Because I couldn't understand. Y'all just voluntarily stopped making a paycheck. Where's my Legos? You know, where's my where's my cornflakes in the morning? You know what I mean? So I didn't understand. Like y'all just said, I'm getting a check. Oh no, I don't want a check now. But I know I understand the dynamic. They doing it because they want higher wage increase, you know, better medical benefits, higher wages, and things of that nature. But uh I still need my cornflakes and pop tarts in the morning. I, I didn't understand that. That part I didn't get. But anyway, fast forward and going on, and then as, you know, me going to the military, of course, no union there, and then me working in the uh, private sector and things like that, I never worked at a job that had a union. And I worked in the auto industry, and but I worked in the auto industry in the South with no union. And then as I look at this thing called, you know, a strike, I don't see how the workers have the upper hand. And what I mean by the upper hand is when they go on strike, of course, they're asking for numbers. The union is asking for numbers they know they won't receive unless you like UPS and you get lucky. But I look at it as a thing that most people can't afford to go on strike. Do you see what I'm saying or no? Yeah. Yeah. So most people can't afford to be on strike for long periods of time. And then you've seen articles you know, especially in the Detroit free press and things like that, where, you know, as soon as the strike happened, the workers are amped up, but then as it drags on, drags on, drags on, then the workers, like, uh, bills still do. Just because you went and chose to go on strike, bills are still due. The mortgage still coming in, kids' tuition still uh, coming in, lights, gas, phone, water, all those different utilities are still coming about. But, and, and so that's why, I mean, I don't see the advantage because, the owners of these companies, they can survive longer than you can survive without a paycheck. And the owners of these businesses know that. And then that's why I didn't understand the concept. I mean, yes. And at the end of the day, do the workers get more than what they had? Yes. Do they receive back pay or a bonus or something once they, once they come with the contract? Yeah. But most people, again, live check to check. So when they went, you know, weeks, months or whatever without without a paycheck of course they charged it to the game and now they got interest rates and all that other stuff on credit cards and personal loans they probably went out there to the loan shark so when they get their bonus or whatever back pay or whatever from the time they don't strike that might barely put them back to even and then they're back in the rat race of doing it again again and again so that's just some of the things so alex you got any questions about anything i said before where i where i I don't, another thing that I don't understand, sorry. No, I mean, maybe some comments like, I don't understand, I like, if it's a legitimate reason to go on strike for, I maybe I can see it, but from the employer's perspective, all I can think of is, I mean, I know they're unions, but my thoughts are just fire all the people on the strike, but maybe that's extreme, but it's because you're holding up production, you're holding up you know, you're, you're at that point, you're of no use to the company. And, you know, I've in management, we've dealt with people wanting to go on strike and we have to remind them we're not a union and it would cost them their job. But there's some things that I've seen people want to like revolt for reasons that they could change themselves. If they improve themselves, they would see more out of the job than just whining because other people have more benefits because they've put in more work at the company and they've earned it and so really I just question what is the the person that's going on strike what are what have they done themselves to try to maybe improve themselves improve them you know themselves at work to get what they want at work you know have they tried or if, if it's stuff as far as like violations like OSHA violations yeah I understand going on strike for you know the company it's the company's fault for you know the predicament that they're in or whatever but if it's just like they want better better pay better benefits i would question 
the employee on going on strike, you know, what have they tried to do to receive higher benefits and so forth? And and the the reason why I and I know because you work in a non unionized company, you just like fire everybody. But uh, in a union, when they sign contracts, they can't just they can't just fire because if you think about it on the business side, let's say you fire all these people, the amount of money and the work that it will do to hire a new workforce, then it's still going to be a lack. It's still going to be a huge lack of production. It's going to be a lack of production because you got to train all these people. And these people, even though they're trained and then they start working, let's just say they take two weeks, a month, two months to do all that. The production still won't be up to speed with the experience. My look at it is this. I agree 100%. If it's health, safety, code violations, you strike. And now this is the part I don't understand and my probably the reason why I don't like the union concept. Again, like I said, I lived it. I lived it with my mom. So I'm not just speaking off the cuff is... It looks like the union protects bad workers. And I remember when I was younger, I always asked, you know, what's so good about a union? And I remember the old ladies at my mom's job, they'd be like, oh, well, it's it's harder for them to fire you. Or, I mean, I didn't heard them say, oh, you can show up drunk and you still won't get fired. Or you, you can show up late and they still won't fire because the union will fight for you. I heard all of those nuances. I even remember I moved down here to Florida as an older adult and I'm, at a restaurant and then I used I used to wear a Detroit hat and a guy from Detroit came up to me, you know, gave me the standard Detroit greeting. And then he was he just moved here to Florida maybe a year prior. And then we we're just talking. And he was like, man, I like I like Florida, but the one thing I don't like is unions. And then I was like, I mean, I, the one thing that he doesn't like is they they don't have unions here. And then so I asked him, I said, what's so good about unions? He was like, yeah, man, you know, coming from Detroit, you know, I could show up to work late. I could show up to work drunk, but I could never get fired. And I was like, yeah, the union, the union helped the, the employees that suck. But if you doing your job, your own task, you're showing up on time, you're not showing up drunk, then what's the problem? Why, why would your employer have a reason to fire you? And that's, that's something that he couldn't answer and he was just sitting there dumbfounded. And then my other aspect of that, which I don't agree with unions, is it doesn't support the good employees. And what I mean by don't support the good employees is if you're terrible or you're a high performing employee, you get the same raise as somebody that's doing bottom of the barrel work. I mean, I'm of the belief and the aptitude of if I'm a good worker, I should be able to go negotiate a higher pay than Alex if you're doing the same job and he's doing 25, 50% less than what I'm doing. But you can't do that in a union because it's all tied to get raised, it's not just you. So that's those are the things that I just, I, I don't understand. And I have family members that's in a union and uh, some in the casino industry and and we talk, we talk about this in the class about strikes and things like that. And he has never been on strike. And, you know, we was talking about how, you know, just the dynamic of how the employer has the upper hand. And then now he's on strike and then we can go back and forth uh, on, you know, what's going on, how his workers doing, they're ready to cave, how some workers didn't even cross the picket line. They just stayed at work and said, I can't afford not to be here and not get a paycheck. Even though they was paying them about 60% less, they was paying them 60% less than what they was making. They couldn't afford to go on strike because bills were still due. Most people are behind already. And then you're going to put me further behind by going on strike. It's people that was said they went on strike. They crossed the picket line and went on strike. And then after a week passed, they realized how much hindrance they had on their household that they crossed the picket line and went back to work anyway for the same pay. Will the workers at the casino and all these strike workers get a higher pay uh, at some time? Yeah. But bills are due today. Life is today. So that's just, you know, some of the dynamics about going on strike and being a strike that I just, it always just bothered me. I mean, maybe people can comment in the comment section and tell me the good side about it and things like that. But I'm just telling you what I live. 
I mean, once once my mom, when I was growing up, my mom going strike and then, you know, maybe she got a pay increase or whatever, but we were so far behind, lifestyle didn't get better once once the pay came in. You know, union dues went up, uh, taxes went up, and all that other stuff. So we're still we're still struggling like we was before. You know, all the IOUs had to get paid, all the credit card bills had to get paid, or whatever, you know, bonus that they got. So it wasn't like life got got much better once that dynamic came through. Alex, you can wrap it up if you got anything else. With all that me to say, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Let us know if you're in a union. Share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.